The clips you just saw aren't a PS1 game. It's Scratch. Honestly, what were you expecting? It's just a project with 7,000 blocks and 3 weeks to make. When I made this project, I set multiple goals, and I kinda got too excited. I have been using Scratch for 7 years now, but never did I combine all my knowledge into one big project. This project requires me to use all my knowledge. The car sounds. Or the insane 3D engine with slopes. Or the crazy map making system. Or the fact that I have to combine all that into one game. Which means it has to have gameplay. Well, if this was only made with Scratch, it would have been impossible. But a Scratch mod called Turbo Orb is here to save the day. Turbo Orb keeps the Scratch limitations. Basically no 3D, no models, no 3D physics, but it basically speeds Scratch 60 times. This is still slow as hell for my project, but it works better than Scratch at least. And so, with motivation, I started making the car using only blocks, this means no actual 3D rendering programs, and just dealing with a lot of numbers. Next, I had to find a top view of the map, so I can convert it to a 2D array, that can be then used into our Scratch texture. But now what? I can't use real 3D projections and triangles to draw the floor, because... Skill issue, I guess. Using my limited knowledge, I decided to use a mode 7 technique. It was pretty fast, and it worked good. And so I spent the next day cooking the mode 7, and making sure there are no glitches. The ground works, and it's amazing. Surely nothing is missing. Well, what I showed you took me about 2 days. But as you heard in the very beginning of the video, this took 3 weeks to make. Surely adding 3D walls with slope functionality and heights and collision and it all has to be 2D raycasting and really quick to save performance can't be that hard, right? Implementing the 3D walls was actually easy. It was just a line intersection formula to find where the ray hits instead of moving it slowly, like most raycasters on Scratch. But the biggest problem was making the map. I didn't make a file on Portrait, so I couldn't import the map from the internet. This meant I had to make it by hand. And with such a simple 3D engine, this means I have to deal with lines, pure lines. I couldn't make shapes, I couldn't make triangles, I only had 2D lines, which can have different heights, and that's it. I also couldn't find the textures for the game, so I drew them by hand. For the first day, I actually made a good part of the map, but when I reached the first curve, which needed a lot more complex numbers to actually make the lines curve, I started losing motivation, and for a whole week, I barely made any progress on the project. But after some time, I started working on the second part of the map. Everything was looking good, and after some time, I actually finished the map. It was time to add AI cars, which was a whole different problem. Now I needed a way to control the cars, and so, using a list, I recorded the positions of the car driving around in a perfect 3 laps. Then I slowly moved the car to that place, and smoothly, so it doesn't glitch. Everything was looking good, until I realized there was no actual gameplay, there was no collisions, there was no laps, and there was no places. And so I spent more time working on the gameplay, slowly adding more and more. And unlike my old game, I decided to make an accurate hitbox. Everything was looking good, and so I started adding a replay, so we can actually watch the game again. By the way, if you're still watching, the link is in the description. Go play the game after this video. After that, I started implementing the menus, which was the easiest part in this project, yet one of the most amazing ones. The project actually supports a lot of computers, you can play it on slow ones, and actually really good ones. But if you're trying to play on your grandfather's IVM which you took from a museum one day ago it's not gonna work. So don't cry in the comments of the project that it's not working. And that's it guys, thank you for watching.